armor photography giant has had its own Kodak moment, it seems. After close to a decade, Kodak is back from the dead. Newly christened now as a pharma company, Kodak will be making generic drugs as the U.S. suffers an unimaginable shortage of medicines due to the coronavirus pandemic. George Eastman bought a small camera in the year 1877 and had paid somebody to teach him how to use this equipment. And pretty soon, the same man revolutionized the photography industry in the 20th century by replacing a glass plate with paper film in cameras. This is what gave birth to the company Kodak. Kodak called it a box full of visual memories for just one dollar and launched the iconic brownie camera in the year 1900. A box camera with a simple lens which introduced the people to the idea of snapshots. The camera then surpassed all its marketing goals and received overwhelming response from its buyers. Kodak was a household name. The company's point-and-shoot camera, Instamatic, and its famous color slide film, Kodachrome, revolutionized the photography landscape and instantly urged people towards capturing visuals. But Kodak's fall was as steep as its rise. With the advent of new age technology and mobile phones, digital cameras were quick to replace Kodak in the market. Kodak's unwillingness to turn completely digital and its inability to fight its competition made the company suffer unprecedented losses. But Kodak's interest in other areas of business and a small diversification plan that took place in 1980s has helped Kodak bounce back again. However, this time it is as a drug maker and not as a photo company. In 1988, as part of its diversification project, Kodak took its baby steps into the pharmaceutical and consumer product lines. Today, the company has finally made inroads in manufacturing drugs. The fallen giant of photography industry will develop generic drugs to fight the coronavirus. Kodak will make several generic drugs whose supply lines are facing severe shortage due to this pandemic, especially in the United States. The project, project will be part of America's self-sufficiency project in medicine and drug making, as the U.S. government has also reported and supported Kodak by announcing massive loans of nearly $765 million. Kodak's shares shot up by 60% after the announcement and the company is now confident of making up to 25% of generic drugs that America would require during this pandemic. The U.S. President Donald Trump has also termed this deal as one of the most important deals in the history of American pharmaceutical Today, industry. To announce one of the most important deals in the history of U.S. pharmaceutical. Anything like